So if someone is in a wheelchair, Gray explained, without touching a keyboard or a mouse pad, he can text or send email by thought. No. You're watching the Bear Pantry Show. Is that possible? No, because in this case, we'd all be doing that. What happened to that guy in the wheelchair, um, the Stephen one with Hawkins. MS, Stephen Hawking? What was he doing? Apparently, he was like a switch, uh, like built into his glasses and stuff like that, and a thumb switch to control his computer at the top. So it wasn't his mind? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, we don't have magic? <laughs> okay, guys. So. Uh, what me and Joshua are, are embroiled in talking about is a Belizean inventor, and I put the quotations like this. I want to say what I, I want to say, but I'll because get in trouble. So. We're going to be reacting, just so we don't get sued. We're going to be reacting to what we saw today on the internet, and uh, just giving you our opinion. All our opinion is alleged. All right. So I, I'm afraid to play this video Alleged. of Channel 7 News. It's so, so this is what happened, Josh. <laughs> so it looks like this guy went down to Belize. He's a Belizean American. He's born in Belize, Americanized like me, naturalized. He went down to Belize and he's some big time, uh, they call him the godfather of inventions, don't you know? Look it up on Google, guys. Look it up on Google. If you put in his name, Andre, A-N-D-R-E, Gray, G-R-A-Y, it'll come up. On the first page, it comes up as the, I think it's trending or something oh, yeah, right now. Oh yeah, it's popular right now. Yeah. Yeah. So it comes up as the Godfather of invention. So he went home to Belize, and I guess some politician down there from the party that I don't belong to is over there propping him up, mm. and they gave him the keys to the city. The keys. What do you have to do to get the keys to the city? Make up story. <laughs> so. So anyway, somebody posted it on Facebook and so I woke up out of my deep sleep at 7 o'clock in the morning I'm like, why does this name sound so familiar to me? This Andre Gray, right? Mm -hmm. Then I looked at this picture and go, why does his face look familiar to me? So honestly guys, I don't know this to be like 100% true, but I really do feel... Hello? Is the door? The wind's probably yeah. blowing. Probably. I really do feel that I know this guy, alright? So I went to All Saints School in Belize growing up and that goes from Infant 1 to Standard 6. So it's Infant 1, Infant 2, then Standard 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it would be the equivalent of over here in America of 1st um, grade through 8th grade. 1st grade through 8th grade. So they say in the report that the guy was 51. So I said, but I, I know this guy. I even know his brother's name, Ian Gray. All that stuff came like rushing back to me. Like I know these two brothers, like they used to be tall and lanky, you know, skinny brothers. And why do I know these guys, right? And I said, he must have gone to school with me. They didn't go to high school because I went to an all girls Catholic high school, Catherine's. So in the report, it says, he and the brother went to uh, St. Catherine's Elementary, not the high school. No, that was for boys and girls. Mm. And that might be true because their father was a lawyer. In Belize, you know who the lawyers are, who the doctors are, who the nurses are, who the teachers are, because those are like big, um, what do you call them? Um, Sorry. Careers. Yeah. What do you call them, Josh? Uh, professions. Professions. They're big, the dog came in just yeah. now, they're big professions, right? So you know who these people are. Lawyer Gray has been a lawyer since time began. So I know that he had money to send his kids to the elementary school, the Catholic school, because you have to pay when you went to those schools. The Anglican school you didn't have to pay, but the Catholic school you have to pay. And so that might be true. They might have gone to St. Catherine's Elementary, but at some point I'm thinking they might have come to the school we used to attend, All Saints School, which was a really good school. It's just that we didn't have to pay because the church ran it and, you know, they go off of donations, right? So I'm thinking, I don't have any proof of this, but I'm thinking that at some point they were at my school because why would I know them? I would have no reason to know them. Even if they went to the Catholic school around the bend from us, not, you know, Catherine's, um, I wouldn't have known them because the only people we knew from that school were the people who lived proximity to us. If they might have gone to a different school, then we know them because they're our neighbors, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So um, I want to play... Um, I'm not going to play the video part, and I'm not sure I'm going to play the whole thing. But the lady, they were debunking the man. Will these cameras pick up the speakers from us? I don't, um, I don't think it would come out too good. You don't think so? Or else no. top inventors. Oh, right. Most recently, Wait. he was given the keys That's to... Let's hard. start over. Lately, local news outlets and the political establishment have been fawning over Andre Gray, a Belizean American who claims to be one of the world's top inventors. Most recently, sure. he was given the keys to the city by Mayor Bernard Wagner, who gushed about Gray. He's a national treasure. 
um, recognized worldwide. Mm -hmm. um, Washington Mail, mm -hmm. London <laughs> Defender, um, most 100 most influential person, person of the year. And he's a born and bred Belizean. What is that? Right? Belizean American. No American, Belizean. Belizean American. And, and he has been responsible. <laughs> His work, his innovation, his, 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 his technology-driven um, activities is what got this uh, the telephone that you are using, this technology that you are using. He's responsible for I forget him in our schools. He utilize right, that resource. Right? That's a valuable resource. If you, like the mayor, believe what you read from dubious fake news sites you've never heard of, Gray is accredited for many inventions, <laughs> including ringtones like and ringbacks, the first digital DJ Shame. software, the electronic no. ticket, no. the electronic press kit, which no. is said to be the birth of social media, no. and even the cyberpunk genre. No! He's also said no. to be the first song ever to the internet, Hell no. titled Internet Kill the Video Star. <laughs> he has even supposedly designed the voicemail logo and inspired the design for the Bitcoin the logo. logo. The Bitcoin logo. He was also named last year's Washington Mail's personal okay, piece for the okay, second cook. year in a row and the London Defender's most influential person in the world. In the world. <laughs> On that same list, Elon Musk is number 14, and Mark Zuckerberg is number 26. Oh my god. When a look at these websites show that they're not genuine media. Every story written on the Washington Mail was done so by the editorial board, which means that there are either submissions from the public that are not vetted, or sponsored posts, basically pay to play. A quick Google search of the London Defender doesn't even bring up the front page of the so-called new site, which, when you click through the links, you'll see it's just a front for press releases. The other websites that feature him, the New York Today, the Los Angeles Tribune, the Daily Silicon, are also all unaccredited sites which have no credence as news outlets. Mm. And in an interview with the Amanda newspaper, Gray tells a reporter that he is the first black person to attend the Juilliard School. But another no. <laughs> actually belongs to Frank Brown in 1932. He's a national treasure, years don't you before know. Before Gray was even born. And it's these fraudulent websites and misrepresentations of the truth that had our team at Seven News suspicious of Gray's alleged achievements. That led us to the gates of the zinc fence, where we waited for Gray as he exited the morning stew set. Here's how that exchange went. Mr. Gray, oh. hi, good morning. We're from the local media here in. Yes. 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 yes, can I, can, can you ask me your business cards and I can arrange for later, I'm late for appointment now. Sir, sir. So we but, just want to know uh, if everything, because a lot of things that you are saying do not check out. You're making a lot of claims that don't check out. Um. So we want proof for everything that you're claiming. Every, the Thomas Gutenberg Award wasn't given to you in 2002, that was someone else. <laughs> On that note, I have to go. One thing I do like oh to my God. is to stoop to the level of nonsense and have people drag me down. So how have your, have your success, achievements, so called achievements, over exaggerated? Uh, and all hmm. these big um, all stations are such cars? a huge inventor. You see the zinc fence? What, what is he in <laughs> a Lambo or something? ABC, no, ABC, 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 sir. sir. What do you have to say, sir? sir? Is it all a rule, sir? Is it all a rule? He made cyberpunk. Godfather of the end. I'm glad I asked Joshua to come do this with, with me because some of the stuff I don't even know, okay? I, I love cyberpunk. You did not make that <laughs> cyberpunk. I love that type of setting. You guys, let me pause for a brief commercial, all right? Ten long years ago. I published my first cookbook of recipes from my home country of Belize. My cooking show, The Bear Pantry Show, was created based on that book. Seven years later, I redid the book, removed some of the recipes that I didn't deem to be authentic enough, and added about 30 brand new recipes that are easy to follow, budget-friendly, authentic, and comes out perfect each time. Matter of fact, it comes out perfect the first time. Get your copy today only from www.bearpantryshow.com. Shop safely and securely at www.bearpantryshow.com. Do you know this? Do you know this live? Juilliard. He said he said he made cyberpunk. Jada. Cyberpunk. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we had to pause.
pause because Jada came home from work and she's overhearing our reactions in here and she wanted to get in on it but not on camera. She was going, uh, we can't put it in because she cussed too much. <laughs> if, if he made cyberpunk, just What that, is cyberpunk? It's like the world where... Oh, oh. Cora. Go into bed. Go, go, Cora, to, go bed. to bed. The dog is, this is me and the dog's room, right? So she wants, let her out. There's, her there's out. different versions, but it's usually like... Don't come back. She doesn't like the door to be locked. That's the problem. Lock now. It's me and her room. Uh huh. So what is it? Like okay, so it's uh, humans like fused with machines. Like my arm mm -hmm. could flip open and become a sword, mm -hmm. or your face opens up and your eyes are like uh, heat signatures, and you have weapons built into your body. It's like dystopian futures and stuff like that. Okay, so I, I want to read not the whole thing, but some of what the Amandala. The Amandala is a newspaper in Belize. It's been along. It's been there since before I was born. Are those right? the ones talking to them, or are they the ones? <laughs> there, the, Channel Seven is the one that's debunking what the Amandala reported. Okay, okay. So the Amandala okay. pretty much reported whatever he says. Whatever. Whatever he says. Alleged. 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 Okay, let's go back. <clears throat> so, um. They talked about how the World Wide Web was formed and all that stuff. That that's they and stated it, some facts. And it wasn't him. <laughs> the Amandala stated way some facts, by, right? By the military. So they said, um, by the 1990s, however, text, graphics, songs, and video would all be integrated into yeah, yeah. form a single platform. Then, in the midst of this, all came the cell phone with its own unique capability. And they tell you how computers started and how cell phones started. And those are facts. We're not debunking that. So they say, in this, in the opinion of many professionals, that. It, it is the opinion of many professionals that no other person in the world has done more to offset the merger of the new tele telecommunication technologies than the prolific inventor Andre Gray, age 51. 51 and he did uh, no. Okay, so what does that mean? What does it mean when it says has done more to offset the merger? <sighs> offset sounds like something it's negative, not, right? It sounds negative to me. What does offset mean? We, we're going to look up the dictionary. All right, I went to Catherine's, but we now will sit here like some whole fools. No, nah, if I don't know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm so, not lying to it right now. It sounds like he was trying to stop Definition it. Definition of offset. Construction, okay. A consideration or amount that diminishes or balances the effect of a contrary, contrary one? Oh, so it's negative. It says it's, it's the opinion of many professionals that no other person in the world has done more to offset the merger. He didn't want them to merge. The merger of the new telecommunication technologies. To counteract something by having an opposing force or effect. Anyways, I'm stuck at 51. He no, is not 51. 51. He if all I enough. know this dude, he's not 51 because I'm 56. Oh, you're on that And part, if yeah. he was 51, Joshua, and we went to the same school, then he would have been in third grade while I was in eighth grade. Because the elementary school went to eighth grade. Now, mind you, I said already, I'm not sure we went to the same school, but I don't know why I know this guy. And I know him from my youth, not from now that I'm grown, okay? So let's continue. Um, he says, Andre 51, a Belizean who migrated to the United States in 1981 when he was 15. That's your, what you know, did I say? You know, phones ain't cheap. Calm down. What? <laughs> not 51 right I, I came to this country in 1981 when I was 15 so how in the heck can he be 51 when I'm 56 mm -hmm. I tell you I know this dude all right mm -hmm. now he lives in Connecticut okay in an article the talented 10th most influential blacks in technology in which gray is listed as number one numero uno like the pizza okay. Jessica Pennington writing in the magazine damsels in success <clears throat> oh, that's <clears throat> cringy as hell. Not damsels in distress. I know, it's cringy. Last June wrote in the intro introductory paragraph, Andre Gray is an inventor of Belizean extraction who first gained recognition for uploading the very first complete song to the internet on August 8th, 1988, titled Internet Killed the Video Star. No. A song he composed no. in the MIDI? 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 Yeah, MIDI. MIDI format. Okay. No, MIDI. <laughs> It's, uh, it's like um like you were playing Nintendo. It's like that. So that's tomorrow. Do 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 do. Hold on. Nintendo might try to Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> first song. First, first song. Um, uploaded. It sounds like that type of music though, like old school Nintendo music. To the world, to the internet, right? You say internet? Yeah. <clears throat> it's probably some military guy. They had the, the internet was military before. No, and this is on YouTube. 
First song ever, first oldest, what is the oldest post on the internet? Would that be it? No, because that's just everything, right? You're trying to find song. The song? Right? The first, thing, okay, what was the first album? First, no. We didn't have no first song. You look there's, it up, Josh. Who's going to know that? That's so long ago. Hold on, let me see. Okay, Josh was going to look it up while I continue to read. Because we know what this thing go to The very first song uploaded to the internet. Okay. Okay, so it's <laughs> saying... What's the first song? Go Aerosmith. How Head First became the first digitally downloaded song. I don't know about digitally downloaded. That's downloaded, not uploaded. Well, it was uploaded, but... Okay, Josh was going to keep looking. That song served as the absolute starting point and calling card for the online digital music and entertainment revolution. He did it, don't you know? In June of 1991, one month before Jory was born, he invented the electronic ticket when he began selling concert tickets through his Usenet news group for a King's X concert he promoted at the Elko Theater in Elkhart. He invented ringtones, Joshua, and ringbacks, and no. the same programming language in 1994 what? for his IBM Simon whoa, 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 whoa. cell phone. Whoa, 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 Had he invented a freaking coding language? No. Mm -hmm. And single-handedly jump-started the mobile phone entertainment industry. One of Gray's inventions that is getting a lot of attention in the technology world right now is his mind over matter technology which he invented from as far back as 1994, the year before Jerry was born. Uh, with, his, with this technology, thoughts are in, inputted onto the computer without touching a keyboard or a mouse. Child, that's what, how we opened the thing, because I, I saw that spot come up on my phone, right? <clears throat> so, did you find anything? Honestly, people are saying it's Bowie. But, David Bowie? Yeah, but people are saying the first occurrence in a hip-hop song is 1993. According to a rap uh, genius database. Well, you know, my viewers are very smart people. They know how to investigate everything. You guys, I want you to participate on this. We're not trying to drag this guy. We're not trying to put him down. He's a Belizean just like I am. I think it's somebody that I know I'm telling you guys. But I don't like when people come to me in all type of life. I start to malfunction like that computer in small world. What small wonder? Vicky. So Vicky. I start to malfunction like Vicky. <clears throat> <laughs> so then, <laughs> it says last year, January, Gray released Micro Grooves HD, Micro Grooves Digital, and Micro Grooves Green T vinyl record formats. The launch took place at 12 a.m. on Friday, January 1, 2016, in New York. Prior to his migration to the United States, this is when I supposedly know him now, Andre, the son of the late attorney Joseph Cuthbert Gray, and his wife, Eleanor Gray, attended St. Catherine's Elementary School. He probably did go there, but I think there was a season when he didn't. And maybe they moved. Maybe mommy and daddy split up and they went with mommy. Maybe they got suspended for some reason. Well, I know they were at All Saints. I wish some of my All Saints people that are watching would come out and tell me if they remember. They're two lanky brothers. They were tall. So, <laughs> um, transferring to St. John's College. St. John's College is equivalent of St. Catherine's Academy in Belize, but the boys go Familiar, there. Yeah. And then the girls. Robbie went to St. John's. Robbie's brother went to St. John's. Mark, my friend Mark, went mm -hmm. there. Okay, so, gotcha. okay. <clears throat> where he left out of second form to live in the U.S. I left out of third form and he left out of second form. Why? Because I skipped seventh grade. He probably didn't skip seventh grade. That's why me and him are the same age, but he was a year underneath me in school. In New York, Gray attended and graduated from Eramus High School, a public school. <clears throat> While there, I also played sports in my senior year. I was team captain of the school's basketball team. Who's going to know that, right? Could he told the Amandala cares. in a telephone interview last week, Tuesday, June the 20th. I guess this happened last year when this thing came out. His interest in sports would end. That's the um, furnace that's coming on, guys. It's too cold, all right? So just bear it. Yeah, we're not bit. messing with that. Well, no. Yeah. yeah. His interest in sports would end with graduation from high school. After graduation from high school, I never played sports again. He probably played PE. That's what he probably did. Yeah. <clears throat> the high school, in his sophomore year, Gray wrote a paper for which he got an A+. Plus. So okay. I got all A's in high school okay. and I got all A's in college. So what does that make me? Am I prolific, Joshua? That's like those weird people who are like, if you get good grades, that means you're a good person. That's not how that works. I'm not a good person. <laughs> it's complete psychopaths get A's, alright? The paper was about working out the audio compression codes for music. And I circulated it on the internet around 1988. And you know what? Microsoft and Apple computers began using that same information 
for their music compression software. At age 16, I did not realize the impact of that simple paper gray disclosed. Oh my god. <clears throat> so Both apparently... Faithful, as you can tell. I, I couldn't do that. I couldn't... I, my, the my, George my, Santos of it all, right, my, Joshua? My, my brain be like, you're a liar! <laughs> Why do you lie? So apparently from a very young age, the stage was set for the inventor that gray would become later. I took the ham radio licensing exam and passed it. He was a 13 year old boy vacationing in New York at the time. Mostly it's people in their 40s and 50s who take the ham radio licensing exam. I feel like that'd explained. be somewhere where it'd be like, whoa, you see this kid? He, he killed it. You know what I mean? Whenever kids like cooking, like the chef ramps, whoa, look at this little tall girl. He made for real. Beef Wellington. And now everybody knows, you know? <laughs> and from New York, Gray said he moved to Indiana where he attended Goshen College and completed his undergraduate degree in broadcast journalism with a minor in business. Okay, to, and he's an inventor? You're trying to come to your area? You're trying to come to your area? Upon returning to New York, he was among the few persons of color to be admitted to the prestigious Julia. Oh. That's where they had me. That's a lie, but he's, I like to like, That's to be like, easily he's Googleable, and it's some lady named Anne something way back in the 1930s or so. He lied. Mm -hmm. I knew this because we are a musical family, and we've checked out Miss Juilliard. What, <laughs> you know? what do you mean we? <laughs> we've, we I've checked it out for Julia <laughs> in the past. I remember I Lisa draw. used to check it out for her daughter. Because yeah. they, they kept saying that in the church, that it, so and so, the, I don't want to call it legal name, is going to go to Juilliard. And they looked at Jada like, where are you going? Right? Isn't, isn't, isn't Juilliard just all around <laughs> arts, right? Like ballet and all that too? Just everything? It's all art, yeah. Okay. And you have to be like really, really, really super Tip duper top. talented yeah, yeah, yeah. to do it. Raw talent, right? <laughs> don't, don't you think in this, this world right now, they'd find this black guy and be like, look, he did all of this. At Juilliard, he, is, he has studied music technology, don't you know? I hold the distinction of being the first black person to be admitted to Juilliard. This is one of the toughest institutions to get into. That's not no, a lie. Mama, Tough to get into. It's, it's some lady you said, right? It's the first black person, right? It's a lady. Yeah. But while there, I maintain a high grade point average, he said. What's your GPA? What was it? Tell me the GPA. You, everybody boasts about their GPA. Exactly. Because they never used to have 5.0. When I went, they had 4.0 and I got 4.0. Okay, still thirsting to broaden his knowledge base, Gray said he got into a one-year program offered by Harvard University and studied alternative dispute mediation. I don't even know what that is. Ugh. Harvard, while at Har Harvard, Harvard don't want law school, right? Yes. So he knows yes. he he's becoming a lawyer like his dad. Yeah. Oh, I see where he so went with he's, this. He's the best at <laughs> art. He's the best at lawyer. He's mm -hmm. the best. Gray explained the sequence of events in his life that led up to the first major contribution to the development of the internet, the development of the internet. I thought that was Al Gore. Wasn't Al Gore that invented the internet? It was, it was, it was, <laughs> it was, I know it was the military way back when, before it came to, for us civilians, like, was it like DARPA or something like that? I don't know. Okay. On August the 8th, 1988, was the day when Gray would make his first major contribution to changing the internet with his edition of online music. There was no. just... <clears throat> there were just bulletin board systems. I got on there when there was no music. I had written a song, played it on my synthesizer, <laughs> I can't say the word, synthesizer, synthesizer, made a recording on my portable player. When I came back to New York in the summer, I uploaded the instrumental version of the song. Oh my God. So he didn't even migrate yet. No. He didn't even no. migrate. We came here at 81, who was dumber than a box of rocks. I'm we sure, couldn't even talk real good American. <laughs> I'm sure one of the first things someone was this up with, hey, I made a little song. There you go, way before him. And from that day, it, the web, was no longer viewed as a platform for military and academic research. No. I showed new possibilities and opened the door for music oh and entertainment on the web. God. In 1993, and I uploaded 150 <laughs> songs. Was that Napster? Andre. <laughs> Andre, are uh, you hear me talking to you? Was that not? Come on, Andre, come on. You can come on my show. I, I want him to come on my show. I'm gonna clone his back. Oh <laughs> Last year, for the 28th anniversary of the uploading of music on the internet, Nestor Moreno, a writer who wrote about 28th anniversary about the 28th anniversary online of online music, the online digital music revolution was started on this day exactly 28 years ago today, when on August the 8th, 1988, revealed inventor Andre. God, he's prolific, he's revered, uploaded the very first complete song on the internet titled blah blah blah. People believe and this crap. You, yeah, you did it on this Yamaha things. blah 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 blah. You can just say things. Okay, let's I own a jet. I own two jets now. That's how that works. He said, I, have, I understood technology as a teen to the point where I used to earn extra income instead of working at the McDonald's or a department store. Grace said, I was well versed 
I never worked at any stores then either. You know what I did? Babysitting. Child, it was good money back in them days. Babysitting clubs, solve mysteries and all that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gray said that after he graduated from college in 1991, he was promoting musical concerts in the local area. Eventually that led him to one of his spectacular inventions when he became the first person to sell a concert ticket online. We are looking out of this mess up because we're hoping you will. Single-handedly, he had ushered in the electronic ticket age. Amandala, I'm shame of you. Uno their own long time for you to buy this what poppycock. This is poppycock. By the mid 1990s, the airline industry began using electronic tickets. Gray invented Josue. Josue Grinaje. Josue <laughs> just was having a seizure. Was it the uh, first online concert ticket? Mm -hmm. Who? First online concert ticket sold. Keep going. I'll buy it. A friend gave me. One as a Christmas as a Christmas gift. He was an older person and did not have much use for the phone. I wrote the code for the ringtone. I used my keyboard to compose the ringtone. Right after ringtones came the electronic press kit, EPK, in 1995. Without this invention, there would be no social media today. Ave Maria, he's the one that ushered in social media. Oh my God. Grace said Facebook is built on his technology. <laughs> when did... Oh God! Mm. What did it say? He started selling online tickets. Did it give it a date? Because um, it says 1994 is the 1990, first. Uh, no, 1993. He invented the world's first smartphone. No. <laughs> what? No. Smartphones. That was when I was a kid. We. we I was. I was still a freak. 1994 for is when first started. So, no. so that's a lie. Electronic tickets and first time online booking system was in 1994. Uh, he said 1991. That's it's a lie. lie. It's a but, lie from uh, the Pizza Hill. But uh -huh. I was what I was still a kid and phones barely got color screens. <laughs> alright, so no, we were far from the smartphone, alright? Oh god, we're gonna bypass all this crap. Yeah, skip. Gray told Amandala that he would like to see Belize celebrate Inventors Day. Not with you. No, 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 no. That is something that I would like to contribute to, just to go around to the schools and talk to the kids. No, don't let him no, talk to none of don't these let kids. Him marry your kids. He's a narcissist. Uh -huh. Don't let him talk to none of these kids because he gonna tell them and teach them how to lie. Uh -huh. These are lies. So that's what the Amandala said. And then I saw something else. Let me see. What's the Amandala? Is, is that a fruit? Okay, he has a website here, um, a, a, a Twitter. And it says he didn't pay the man for the eight dollars a month for the blue check mark. You, you don't even got you don't want to buy a check mark. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. You invented um, the check mark, right? It says Andre Gray is an independent inventor who firmly believes in open source and inventing for the benefit of humanity ahead of profits. I guess that's his his logo, his motto, whatever. Uh -huh. uh, and then it says, um, great inventor Andre Gray is ABC News Now UK. When our editorial staff sat down a few days ago to come up with a short list of who. So I guess they're making a short list of who's who in this thing, right? Um, a great inventor Andre Gray had another Anos Mirabilis miracle year this year 2022 has been a very good year for a great inventor andre gray but for those who are familiar okay these are just like headlines i don't want to open all this crap yeah. on things so let's go back to facebook we went back into belize people call facebook facebook because fast means nosy mm -hmm. and so it's facebook nosy book that's appropriate okay so um so this the the um the thing that i'm reading here on facebook is from seven belize news and that's the video that i ran earlier where they were just trying to debunk some of the crap that he's saying so um yeah if we if you go google this guy let's go to google and you put in his name andre a n d r e gray inventor okay and google says a profile of great inventor andre gray daily silicon valley that's one of the reports that the lady said doesn't exist or whatever yeah. they're not or accredited they pay for yeah they're not accredited and so you can find him. He's trending right now. I don't know why this thing came up in my feed, but he's trending. I, I don't know when he went to Belize and got the keys. I don't, I don't think it's right now. But it's two days ago, Belizean American inventor Andre Gray is handed... Oh, two days ago, he was handed the keys to the city of Belize. That's why it's coming up in here. And I'm telling you guys, 
I don't even know if I ever made a trip to Belize if I would want any keys to any city because I don't think what I do is all that important. You can't honestly. open any doors with it. It's just a, a, a symbolic type thing. Yeah. But I think it should be reserved for greatness. Legit things, yes. Yeah, like these people, these um, 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 educators, you know, these smart people that they go get their PhD and they're knighted by the queen. There's a lot of Belizeans like that. and. They come up there, poet, 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 what do you call it? Ilorit, poet oh, laureate. I don't get knighted anymore. Huh? Poet laureate? You poet, can. Poet, poet, yeah, poet. We have a king. They have a king over there. They can knight you. I was telling the queen you could knight. Maybe that's true. We don't know. But in any case, under Lyad. Allegedly. Hardcore. Allegedly. There it's might not be... even alleged, though, Joshua, because we looked up yeah, some of the stuff here on Google. There might be one truth in there. Maybe. Not his age. <laughs> All right, never mind. <laughs> There ain't no truth, you can't even get your age right. You know what? I'm gonna give him credit for two things. One, his name is correct, because that is his picture. I know this dude. So he didn't lie about his name. Congrats, you told and, me. And he obviously knows somebody, or he himself know how to get into the SEO. Yeah? That much you could teach me. How do I get my crap in SEO so people will buy my book? This is a whole lie. How do I lie better? <laughs> how do I lie? <laughs> he can't tell you how to lie better because he didn't lie horribly. He's too, he took some big lies too, man. Why would you say anything about Juilliard? Because that's what woke me from my sleep. Somebody <sighs> sent me this thing this morning and I had a ball with laughter in my ass like Juilliard. I had to call Jada on her way to work. I said, Jada. Jada said, no. It was a girl. <laughs> Everybody knew it was a girl. <laughs> I didn't know, but I knew it wasn't him. <laughs> Andre, we're wrong. Poor Ian. I'm glad Ian not caught up in this mess, his brother. I, I would be embarrassed. Yeah. I, it prob I wonder if your daddy's still alive. He's 56 like me. His father could still be alive. Maybe. Yeah. I'm going to send this to a friend of mine that used to run with pe people like his dad's echelon of people. Mm. Them rich, liaring people back in Belize. I'm going to send this to him and say, you know this Levi right here? <laughs> See all this craziness that's going on. You guys, I want to be, I want to do things like this now and again here at this page, not just at Bear Pantry Talk. Bear Pantry Talk, I'm doing like podcast type stuff, but this, I really want to put this on my cooking page because I fear if I put this at the other page, it's not going to get a whole ton of put views. It, put it on the cooking page, just put a different type of, um, uh, thumbnail like this is not a cooking video it's a, this type of video. yeah like a reaction because mm -hmm. joshua wants to do reaction with joshua you had some really off the top reaction to this i'm glad i didn't read none of this stuff to you so you could get shocked <laughs> madness i made cyberpunk <laughs> joshua can't get over that. no i can't get over juilliard it's a juilliard for me i can't get why, past that why is he not getting his residuals from blade runner the cyberpunk video game why, why is he not why is he driving that rinky dink car though thank you why isn't he why is he on that broke down fence place why is he in his uh, bmw or whatever's fancy now if i can get the link to this video i think it's at facebook i'll put the link in the description so you could go watch the video for yourself we just played yeah. the audio because we don't want to get copyright infringed I by the news or fine, but my chance this this is new to me yeah. i see a lot of people have to fight for their money from youtube i don't want to have to do that all yeah. right so remember comment below if you have something to add to this story if you happen to know andre or his brother ian or the marred pa or you do some digging on all the stuff do some doing. digging on your own i don't care if you're not belizean do some digging on your own come up with what you come up with we're not trying to hurt this guy or drag him in the gutter we're just trying to like react to this because this is a whole lie oh it's funny a lot of lies it's, it's funny because it's so obviously like not yeah true. is he playing is it supposed to be a prank i think he's a narcissist and he's just getting what he wants right now attention yeah. right attention he's feeding off of that if you want to see us do more videos like this comment below and tell us all right and if you want to see another video that i have posted or lined up for you go here 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 this is the bear pantry show